Summertime takes place over the course of a hot summer day in Los Angeles, where the lives of 25 young poets intersect. This is directed by Carlos Lopez Estrada, who also co-directed Raya and the Last Dragon, but is probably best known for his debut feature, Blind Spotting. And this premiered over the summer in a limited theatrical release, though it came and went pretty quickly, and even once it hit VOD, there hasn't been that much talk about it. Which is kind of a shame, considering it felt like Blind Spotting went through a somewhat similar trajectory itself, though I distinctly remember, since its release, that more and more people were catching on to it and not understanding how it didn't get that much attention when it was out. And honestly, I can say the same about this film. Now, I'd say I preferred Blind Spotting as well as even Raya just a little more, but that doesn't take away from the fact that I thought this was great, having even included it on my Overlooked Movies of 2021 list. The film is a bit more episodic in nature, not really containing one set narrative. This is instead a series of spoken word monologues by 25 different poets, each of whom wrote their own monologues, with Estrada and writer Dave Harris filling in everything in between. And in some instances, a number of the characters do cross paths, and they will be present in the scenes for the monologues that are not their own, with a majority of them converging by the end. Each monologue ranges from a variety of topics and differing tones, with plenty of humorous ones, like a fast food employee venting about the annoying customers and his co-workers, to more somber pieces that might cover something like the state of the neighborhood, though with a lot of the monologues at least lightly to heavily taking swipes at the effects of gentrification. Obviously, some of these monologues can be a bit more engaging than others, and I think it'll strictly come down to personal preference regarding which ones you think are the better ones, whether you're someone who prefers something more lighthearted or heavy-handed, but they're all solid for the most part, evoking such a wide range of emotions. But what really makes this movie such an enthralling experience is Estrada's direction. If you happen to see Blind Spotting and remember David Digg's own monologue towards the end of that film, you're going to get a lot of the same vibes from the way each of the monologues here are presented. The intensity that Estrada's direction brought that particular scene is once again replicated here in nearly all 25 of these monologues, with a mix of tight close-ups or grandiose wide shots that gives each of these poets powerful words even more of a larger-than-life feel, and it makes the 95 minute runtime fly by in such an entertaining way. And it makes Summertime a film you shouldn't sleep on. While it's very clearly episodic in nature, it doesn't make it any less powerful, with 25 really well written monologues brought to life by some truly talented poets, along with some intense direction by Estrada, effectively blending some social commentary with engaging character work. It's a film that certainly deserved much more attention than it got, and I recommend checking it out. Summertime gets an 8 out of 10. So let me know, did you see Summertime, or are you planning to see it, and what were your thoughts? Did you like it as much as Blind Spotting? Are you looking forward to more from Carlos Lopez Estrada? Let me know in the comments below so we can discuss. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share it, and for more movie reviews and film discussion, please make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Thanks for watching everyone, and keep having fun with film.